In the world of sound design, it's pretty common for sound designers to practice their skills by doing what we call a redesign. A redesign is where you take a clip from a movie, video game, TV show, or whatever, strip the audio out, and then create your own sounds that sync to that video. This is an amazing practice for linear media, but how do you practice sound design for non-linear interactive media? If you're using Unreal Engine, the marketplace has a lot of really great online learning tools that you can get for free. But what if you want something specific? Well, then you need to get a little creative. A couple weeks ago, I started playing High on Life, and there's a section in that game that I thought made really great use of some audio mechanics. At a certain point in the game, you get access to warp discs that you can use to warp small scenes into your current level. One in particular being a movie theater. Inside this theater, you'll find three NPCs who are actually voiced by the guys from Red Letter Media, sitting in the front row, watching a movie and talking to each other about it. Definitely some Mystery Science Theater 3000 vibes going on here. So I thought I'd try to recreate this scene. Now, this video isn't meant to be a tutorial. It would just be way too long. So instead, you get to listen to me half-ass explain what I'm doing on the screen while I fast forward through most of it. Keep in mind, I am not a 3D modeler, animator, or level designer. I'm an audio engineer. So from a visual standpoint, it's probably not going to look any better than the inside of a basic, poorly made movie theater. But the audio mechanics? That's what we're going to try to achieve. So first, we're going to need a movie to watch. Because I'm not trying to get copyright claimed here on YouTube, let's grab something from the public domain. Now that we have our movie, we just need to get it working inside Unreal Engine. Once I got the movie working, I needed some NPC voiceovers. I tried to do this myself, but the only 3D model I had with an animation that works with this theater seat, well, let's just say I don't think my voice is going to fit this character very well. So I opted for some AI text-to-speech. With the AI voiceover imported, it was time to start working on the mechanics. Since all of the sounds in this environment are placed spatially, we need to apply some attenuation settings. This will allow the voices to auto-pan based on our player's location. With attenuation applied, I can also set up occlusion. This isn't gonna be super useful except for the stairs, but one of the things about interactive audio is that you need to account for all possibilities. I also noticed that there's a small amount of ducking happening to the movie audio when the NPC dialogue is happening. For that, we'll need to set up some sound classes and sound mix modifiers. Using mix modifiers allows us to set threshold limits that will automatically affect other audio sources based on their amplitude. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some light carpet footsteps and we should be done. Let's take a listen. I can't believe this. He asked me to meet him here and now I have to watch this old black and white movie all by myself. uses a door knocker like that? Just one knock at a time? Really? Who's gonna answer the door? They're probably all sitting inside going, did you guys hear something? And then silence. So that's gonna wrap things up for this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments and be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell, so you don't miss out on any future content. If you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guy Discord, you'll find a link in the description below. And if you'd like to help support me on Patreon, you can click this icon right here. Until next time.